Look at Ike has green creep from helping to cut the lawn this morning. He's a hard worker. He loves to cut the lawn, don't you, Ike? So, today I've got the new Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizer, which is uh, the third moisturizing cream to the brand. Uh, the other products are the Tidal, which is a uh, water cream, which is very good for lightening skin, and then the CEO Moisturizing Cream, which has vitamin C in it. And uh, actually, out of all three of these, I would say the new ice is definitely the thickest of all three of them. Let me show you the texture. And they sent a very classy spatula with it. This must be the new style of spatula because uh, the Basha uh, chia seed cream came with a spatula. I kind of like it. So, which these are a little bit easier to hold on to. But anyway, so this is a super thick moisturizing cream, which does contain several ceramides. Uh, Sunday Riley calls this a pro-ceramide moisturizer that strengthens a natural bar moisture barrier against environmental stressors for plump-looking baby soft skin. And it is pretty thick, and it smells kind of like cherry ice cream, actually, and I'll get to that in a second. So packaging, obviously, is the biggest downfall of the product, an open-air jar container. Uh, it would have been better with an airless jar or even just a squeeze tube moisturizing uh, container. But they chose uh, the jar packaging, which kind of fits in with the other packaging for the brand. So um, uh, let's see. In terms of alcohol, this does not have any denatured alcohol. It does contain a lanolin alcohol, which is a good fatty alcohol. So uh, no, nothing to worry about there, although it is kind of an acneogenic ingredient, which I'll get to those in a second as well. So, fragrance. That's uh, the other slight issue I have with this. It has like a vanilla cherry scent to it, and uh, it's from a few different ingredients. Some of them are okay fragrance ingredients. Uh, so, it's got Rosa Damascena flower oil, which can be a, a beneficial ingredient, but it also can be an, a potentially sensitizing fragrance ingredient, especially for sensitive skin. Uh, it also contains uh, cinema, cinnamon leaf oil, which... Uh, can also be potentially irritating for skin. Uh, so cinnamon can have some beneficial ingredients, or not beneficial, can have some beneficial aspects to it, but it can also be sensitizing just like the rosa flower oil. So rosehip oil is good, the rosa flower oil is not good. So rose is kind of interesting because there's a lot of aspects of rose flower ingredients that are good, and then some that are sensitizing. So and it also has vanilla, which... Uh, vanilla leaf, which is also, that's a fragrance ingredient, but it also is an antioxidant and it doesn't cause irritation. So it's got several different fragrance ingredients, some which are good uh, and some which are good slash bad at the same time. So it just depends on your skin type and how sensitive it is. So um, let's see. So very easy to use. I actually have liked mixing this with my retinol. Actually, I've been mixing a lot with the Drunk Elephant Retinol, which is kind of a thicker retinol cream and uh, using this at night. It seems to work decently in the morning under makeup. I haven't had many issues except for around the eye area. I had a little bit of creasing, which is probably because of the thickness of this moisturizer uh, underneath. But so far, I'm liking using this in the evening and in the morning. No issues at all with that. Um, so antioxidants. So a lot of what they said in the description about this is true. It's got some really good ingredients. So uh, red algae, uh, Chondrus crispus extract is one of the uh, top ingredients in here, and that is a really good antioxidant. It's also really good for fighting environmental stressors. It's also one of the ones that are good for fighting uh, blue light pollution, which uh, from cell phones, computers, things like that. So that is one of the top ingredients in here. It also kind of has a film forming aspect to it, which kind of protects your skin as well. So that is pretty true that this one helps fight off environmental stressors. Uh, let's see what else did it have in here. It's got a lot of other good uh, ceramides in here, a lot of ceramides. So also those are good lipids. Uh, they're kind of like the building blocks of your skin. So those also help with uh, getting a healthy skin barrier and also fighting off uh, pollution, environmental stressors and things like that. And that's got, got also several um, uh, squalane and then it's got many fruit extracts and then linolic, olic, palmitic and linolenic acid. So I'll include the ingredient list below so you can uh, definitely uh, check those out. So a lot of good antioxidants in here and beneficial ingredients. So jar package isn't best for a lot of those, but overall uh, they did include a pretty good ingredient list. So that's nice to see. Uh, Sunday Rise Cruelty Free Performance, definitely very hydrating for skin. 
Uh, if you have acne prone skin, just be aware that there are a lot of potential acneogenic ingredients. Uh, let's see, Condus crispus in and of itself can be an acneogenic ingredient, squalene, lanolin, alcohol, palmitic acid, castor seed oil, magnesium stearate, vitamin E, steric acid, and then fungal acne triggers as well. Uh, Lenolic acid, oleic acid, palmitic acid, lenolilic acid, and castor seed oil are all potential uh, fungal acne triggers as well. So uh, anyway, so there's a few things to be aware of. And then the price, uh, this is the full size, which retails for uh, $65, although Sephora recently sent out another 20% off coupon. I don't know. I usually don't get them, but this one I did. So anyway, but Sunny Riley, it's also always worthwhile Googling before you pick up anything because they tend to be sold on a lot of beauty box sites as well, where you sometimes you can get deals or you can get packages. So I always think it's worth Googling before you just pick it up from Sephora uh, because they're often sold on beauty boxes for deals or in special gift sets. So uh, overall, actually, I'm really liking this one. I uh, haven't had any issues with it at all yet, but uh, thankfully I've been, only been trying it out for a short while. So I gave it a preliminary 7 out of 10. Uh, once I've gotten to try it a lot longer, I'll definitely do another full review. But anyway, those are kind of some of my preliminary thoughts on it. Really liking it initially, so uh, no real issues with it so far. So I'm interested if you guys have checked this out or if you're going to be picking it up or what your favorite Sunday Riley moisturizer is. Definitely leave a comment. Uh, I've got a lot more videos coming out in the next few days, and I've got lots of empties. I've been really working on getting some of those last few bottles done, so I'll be doing those soon as well, too. So uh, anyway, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and I will see you tomorrow.